Greetings one and all and welcome back to my kitchen here today where I'm going to be making some nice uh, homemade curry puffs. So first thing I want to do is make my curry and I've just got a bit of oil heading up here and I'm just going to flavour that up a bit with a few um, curry leaves. teaspoon each of fenugreek seeds and mustard seeds and just half a teaspoon of fennel seeds and we'll just let them go for a minute or two just while that oil heats up Alrighty, next thing to add to this is I've just got one brown onion chopped up. And again, we'll just sort of that for a minute or two. And once my onions just start going a little bit soft and translucent, I'm going to add my curry powder. Now I'm going to be using some Jaffna curry powder. Um, some of you might have seen my recent video where I made um, Jaffna crab curry. Well, that's the same powder as that. Um, I'm only going to use one. And about a half tablespoon, about half of what I use for that last curry. Yeah, we'll just fry that, roast that um, powder off for a minute or two. Alrighty, so my powder, curry powder's just been frying off for yeah, another minute or two. Now I didn't start with much oil there, as you can see that's pretty well um, soaked up all that oil. I'm not going to add more oil, I might just add just a little, at this point, just a little. About a spoonful of water, a tablespoon. At the same time, I'm going to add about five cloves of garlic that I've grated. I've got a big knob of ginger that I've grated. And I've got some fresh turmeric. Uh, that I had left over from another dish and it's yummy but you can substitute um, powdered turmeric but you can get that um, fresh turmeric pretty well everywhere there so mix that in alrighty now for my curry puffs today mine are going to be having uh, be made of mince and I'm using a nice, yum, premium lamb mint that I've got off the butchers. And that's about 600 mils, ah, oh, 600 mils, 600 grams. <laughs> Let me just get that in. Alrighty guys, so I've just ground this um, mince up, just for a few minutes, it's looking really good. Now the next thing I want to do is add a bit more water, probably more like about a cup this time. And I'll just bring that to a little simmer. And we'll just leave that to simmer on top for about... 20 minutes or, yeah, 20 minutes or so. Alrighty guys, so this has just been simmering there for 20 minutes or so. A fair bit of that 
added waters now evaporated there's still a bit left in there so the last thing I'm going to add to this is I've boiled up earlier before I started I boiled up a couple of um, just medium sized potatoes uh, I didn't peel them or anything and I've just roughly chopped them and they should go in as well and we'll just let that go another five or ten minutes I'll mix it in now once all that liquid's evaporated I'm going to turn the heat off and just let this completely cool down before we use it for our filling alrighty that's pretty straightforward, I'll get back to you at that stage. Alrighty, so I've got my um, meat and potato filling there, curry filling. Uh, it's cooled down completely. I've got some sheets of puff pastry out of the freezer and they're just about thawed. So each one of these sheets, I'm going to cut into four. Right, so I'm just making simple triangles. So what I'm going to be doing is folding them over like so. So we just need to have a rough idea what's halfway. That line, get our mixture. Good spoonful in there. Press it down a bit. It's a fine line bet between um, being stingy <laughs> and overfilling it. You don't want to do either. Alright. So here I've just got an egg wash. It's just an egg. And I'm just going to run that along that inner edge a bit. Like so. I'm going to fold my pastry over corner to corner. Might be erring on the overfill side there. It's getting close. <laughs> and I'll just push it down like that. I fold the corners over. Like so. I'll even fold that corner over. And I did have a fork here. Where did I put it? I'll just use the fork to press that down. And these I'm just going to put on some baking paper. And once I've done them all, I'm going to cook them just for about, I don't know, as long as they take really. <laughs> like 200 degrees, probably only about 10 or 15 minutes. I'll give them another egg wash over the top. Alrighty guys. So I've pulled my uh, curry puffs out of the oven there. Uh, they're looking good, as you can see. Nice and golden and um, yeah, let's just taste one. It's still a bit warm, but um, I'll persevere, see how we go.
Come on. Pastry is just beautiful. The uh, filling is delicious. Nice and spicy. Just what you want. Um, thanks for watching guys and I really appreciate it and I super appreciate those who've subscribed to the channel so if you haven't subscribed yet can I just ask that you hit that subscription button that'd be great um, just have another quick look if it'll focus anyway that's a very, very, very nice curry puff. I've eaten thousands of curry puffs over the years, and that's a good one. All right, guys, I'll see you all next time.